Welcome back and in this video I have compiled 10 must know price action signals that work on the 15 minute, the 30 minute, the 1 hour and the 4 hour. And we're going to take a look at all of those different time frames in this video. So let's get into the charts. So we're starting with the first one and besides the 10 main price action signals I'm also always including smaller tips and tricks and really help you understand the nuances of price action trading so that you can apply to your own charts very effectively. So we're looking at a trend exhaustion and this is very important. If for example you're in a long trade and you have bought a market, you really want to find the perfect exit. You don't want to give back profits and timing the exit is important. So we need to understand when is a trend running out of steam so that we can take an exit and maybe even take the short into the opposite direction so that we can make money on both sides. So the key to this pattern is that the trend highs are getting weaker. So whereas previously the market was easily able to push higher, you can see that here we have a very vertical rise here. From here to here, this high, there's a very short distance. So the market was barely able to push higher. And then we have completely changed the high structure. Now the market was not able to come close to the previous highs and we made the first lower high. Also, whereas previously the market moved higher, paused a short while and continued to move high, now you can see the market went sideways for a long time. This shows you that the buyers are not in control anymore. The buyers are not the majority of the market participants. Because if the buyers would be really the dominant force, the market would easily be able to move higher like it did here in the past. But if a consolidation takes that long, and you also see that we are making lower highs, that's a clear sign that the buying pressure is over. The buyers have exited their profits. They made a lot of money as the market moved higher. And this is all visible in this pattern. And then we get our next signal here, which is called the dirty retest. You can search on my YouTube channel. I made a few videos on that concept. It's a very important one. And what we have here is a fake out. So the market does try to break out here initially beyond the lows here immediately fakes out so the breakout turns into a fake out and you can see that strong selling momentum is resuming. We already know that we don't want to buy anymore even this fake out looks quite interesting. We can see that previously there's no more buying interest here and the buyers have really left the market. So we do want to short and then once you see that the fake out is turning into a failed fake out you can see the, the selling pressure is resuming. Lots of selling is coming into the markets. We are driving the price below the last low of the breakout and then we can also add the pivot point. I will come back to the pivot point later in this video but this is a very very important indicator. It's used by a lot of professional traders and this is the daily pivot point. You can very easily set it up on your trading view. You just go to indicator and then it's called standard pivot point and then you just set it to daily and then look at the central pivot point. If the price breaks the pivot point to the downside and it happens in the right context, that is often a strong selling signal. In an uptrend, you can see here previously, the market generally stays above the pivot point. But if there's a change in the pivot point structure, that's a very, very important key, especially if it happens in this perfect context. And then afterwards, you can see the market really turned over. So we knew that the buying pressure was already fading up here. We have seen that we are leaning more towards selling here with a failed breakout and a failed fake out. And then once the pivot point was broken, that really seals the deal. That's the last piece to the puzzle. And then the sellers really took over and the market sold off. So this is very important so that you can understand if you're long, when do you take profits and then when do you position yourself for the opposite direction so that you can make money on the way up. You don't give back your profits and then you can also theoretically make money on the way down. The second signal is a very quick one, but it's also a very important one because you will be able to see this pattern quite often and often it also acts as an add on pattern. So you will see this concept around other patterns as well, where it can really enhance the probability of finding a better trade. So this is called the breakout buildup. And I've talked about this as well in the past. So you can just go to my YouTube channel and do a quick search and then you will find a few videos. And this is a generally a continuation and a pre breakout pattern. And here in this context, what do we have? We have the market went higher. So we are technically in an uptrend. You can see we are trading above the lows. So we are in an uptrend. The market tried a sell off attempt, but it was failed and rejected here with a double bottom. And ever since the double bottom happened, the structure really changed because first of all, 
we'd never came close back to the double bottom. So the lows were rejected. And in a selling market, if there were more sellers, the market would come back to the lows. However, the market stayed higher. The buyers kept the price high. And every time there was a dip, the dip was weaker and weaker. So you can see the lows are slowly moving upwards. And this shows you that the pressure is really building here. The market moves higher, then the sellers come back, but the sellers are not strong here. And earlier and earlier, the buyers come back and push the price higher. So you can really nicely see how this pressure is slowly building. We keep pushing into the highs here, and this often foreshadows a breakout, especially if it happens in the right context. The context is always key when you look at price action. So don't just look for specific signals, but look for the signal in the right context that would really enhance your trading performance. And then you can see afterwards the breakout happened. And once the pressure is released that was building up here, you can see how quickly the market shot up. There's no money to be made in a range. So really stay away from range trading. But if you see that the price is congesting and there's pressure building in the right context, then if the breakout occurs, then often you will see those very big and strong moves happen very quickly. Next is one of the most important continuation patterns that you can learn, and it is called a flag. And it is a continuation, as I just said. So it happens in a trending context. So ideally, you look for a very strong first impulsive trending phase. So here you can see the market sold off very strongly, very quickly. And then here, this is the flag, the consolidation. The market always moves in those waves. There's always this back and forth that I talked about so many times. And the key to the flag is the low wave angle. So whereas here we have a very steep angle, the, the angle here is not as steep, obviously. So the market rises, but it rises very slow. There's also a lot of volatility and a lot of noise in this pattern. In clear trending markets, you will see that there's very little volatility. The market just falls in one straight line. There's no back and forth. The candles barely have a shadow. But here you can see suddenly the candles have shadows. So although some people may think, oh wow, the downtrend here seems to be over. Should I exit my trade? Should I get long? This is not a exit signal. This is not a bullish signal at all. The market is rising very weakly. Also, there's a lot of noise. So the buyers are not able to push the price higher. Probably a lot of people are taking profits who were short, but also there's also a lot of new position taking going on here. So it's more of a consolidation. It's a pause pattern. The market is undecided but it is more a bearish than a bullish pattern. And we can also add other tools to that, which is always very helpful because it adds a little bit more objectivity to the otherwise more subjective price action nature. Here we are using the EMA 50 period and we are using the weekly pivot points. We are now on the four hour time frame, so we're using the weekly pivots. If you're on the 15 minute, the 30 minute, I would recommend to use the daily pivot points, but on the higher time frames, the weekly pivot points work really well. And you can see the pivot point is now acting as resistance. The market traded below the pivot point, came back into it and rejected the pivot. Also, it's rejecting the moving average. So it's a very strong cluster that is building here. The cluster of the pivot and the moving average and the price is not able to break above it. If there was a breakout above it, that would change the situation completely and I would be more leaning towards the bullish side. But in this case, the resistance is holding. We are still in this bearish context with very weak consolidation. And then we just need to wait for the breakout out of the flag. And then very likely the trend is going to continue, which it happened here. And you can see we have a good breakout out of the flag. The resistance always held and the trend was continued and the normal trend structure resumed. Very strong selling. The waves in the trend are very steep. So the trend waves are very steep. The correction waves are more flat and very weak. And then you can see here the trend waves are again very steep. So that is how you can confirm also the trend strength. And that's how you can trade the continuations a little bit more effectively. Many people believe that head and shoulders don't work, but this is not the case. Head and shoulders have a lot of informational context. There are really strong signals if they occur in the right chart context. So let's look at this picture here. Here is the head and shoulders. We have the left shoulder here. Then we have a very strong head and we have the right shoulder here. So the head is happening at a previous demand and supply area. The market spiked into this area and was immediately rejected. There was no breakout. So that's our first clue. The market shot higher and was not able to continue. After such a big move, you would expect that the market is able to continue and break out, but it didn't happen. So that's a very weak signal, very bearish signal. 
and then the second bearish signal is here the distance from the head to the right shoulder we are moving so far away and the market is not even able to come back and come close to the head here so that shows you that the buyers are completely gone probably a lot of people took profits here up here and then the buyers are really out of the game the sellers are taking over also you will often see that those moves are unsustainable when you see really that vertical jump within a few candles the market just goes really vertical and straight up that is often unsustainable just like here the market moved lower very very vertically and then the trend was over and we just drifted sideways so it's also a very bearish signal then we have very similar to what we have seen in the flag continuation we have a very weak um, consolidation whereas previously the bears are really strong the bulls here and during that consolidation the market more or less moved just sideways we also have here a trend line and also if you look here we have a support resistance level and what we could do is trade the breakout or break and retests so this is what a retest look like we are retesting the trend line and we are also retesting the structure here the market did try to shoot above the support level and it was rejected now it seems like it's becoming resistance and also you can see this strong rejection at the trend line that's really important so a lot of things are coming together that are all screaming short we have the strong uh, head and shoulder we have the rejection we have the weak lows and highs we have the breakout out of the trend line we have the rejection here and everything is really pointing towards the short and then we have the retest here and afterwards you can see this is where the retest happens the market really rolled over it all started here all the buyers left the arena there were no more buyers left and then the, re the sellers really took over so so many traders struggle with failed breakouts and this is why it's so important that you learn about fake outs and how they look what they show you and how to trade them so we are looking here at a long downtrend the market is always trading below the moving average this is a 50 period EMA and you can see we are trading below the moving average the market keeps going down very very easily and effortlessly we make lows very easily but then something has changed here the last low was here and the market has a very strong breakout candle here with this huge red candle looks like the market is going to resume what it did here a lot of traders are going to jump short and in the right context that obviously makes also a lot of sense but what happens afterwards should be then a very big heads up if you're getting short here and then you see the violent rejection and immediately we are trading back above the lows that is a very big red flag for a breakout trader so this now looks like a fake out it doesn't look like a breakout anymore also the chart context shows you that we are in wave one two three four five six and wave seven was rejected so we have already surpassed the elliott wave count which makes a continuation less likely and then if you also get the additional add-on of the fake out that's really not a bearish market anymore and now you are better off maybe not going long right away but waiting and seeing can we go above the moving average can we break above the highs can we get more bullish pressure and we did we broke the highs we broke the moving average and how did we break it with a lot of bullish momentum you can see after the fake out we have another rejection here and then we have strong bullish pressure coming into the market very very strong momentum candles breaking the moving average that's a big big change from what has happened previously and then you can see afterwards we started a new uptrend the uptrend started to fade here a little bit so now it's probably time as we've learned in the beginning to think about exiting a trade you have probably made enough money here you have had a good reward to risk ratio don't be greedy and learn to pick up the clues of fading momentum as well it will really serve you well now we're looking at a, another continuation pattern and again let's talk first about the context so it seems like the market was in an uptrend here on the left side and then we rolled over we traded below the moving average and we are now in wave one two and we are potentially starting wave three the key here is that we are still looking very bearish because the market is trading below the moving average and not even trading below the moving average we actively rejected the moving average the 50 ema is a very good moving average to have on your charts whether you trade forex crypto stocks here we're looking at commodities it's a very universally accepted and applicable indicator and once you see active rejections of the moving average and at the same time the market keeps making lower highs we are never breaking the high and low structure 
which is also a very good um, supporting signal for more shorts. And you can see after the moving average rejection, how does the market break the lows with a lot of bearish pressure. You can see we have a lot of accelerating bearish candles. We're starting with a small candle, a larger one, and then here the breakout candle gets us all the way below the lows. So with a lot of bearish pressure. And then you can see we have the dirty retest. And in recent years, I have seen that the tendency towards dirty retests or retests in general is increasing significantly. Whereas a few years ago, you could trade breakouts very effectively. I would now caution you and I would recommend to look into trading more of the retest component because they're really, really common. So this is the breakout pattern that we have looked at. Then you can see the market is immediately falling back. A lot of traders will now worry and maybe a lot of stops are getting hit and it may look like a failed breakout. But then the key is here, the next two, three, four candles, the market is immediately rejecting this failed breakout. And now you're looking at a failed fake out and the market is resuming and we are trading below the lows. It's always an important signal when the market is able to break lows, especially in this context. We are in a bearish market. The moving average has held. The lows are coming down. We are rejecting previous support as resistance. Even if it's not 100% accurate, the previous support is now turning into resistance. The market was not able to trade above it. And then we are breaking into new lows and that often marks here the continuation. And you can see the 50 EMA is a very nice tool that you can use in a trending market. Here we would have been able probably to draw another consolidation and then another continuation. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, let me know in the comments what was your favorite signal, what was something that you didn't know before, and I look forward to hearing from you.